Hey guys, it's Alexis aka The Soft Reader and I'm here today to give you guys my goals for 2017. Um, I kind of, it looks really ambitious on paper when I wrote down all of the goals I want to get for this year, but a lot of them overlap in a lot of ways and I'll talk about that when I kind of get to it. And I'm just very excited about the plans I have for myself for 2017. Um, 2016 was a great year for me in terms of reading, um, in terms of finally being able to consistently do booktube. So basically I'm just ready to ride that lightning and have 2017 be a great year as well. Um, I'll go ahead and start off by telling you guys that my book goal, like in terms of how many books I want to read this year on Goodreads, is going to be 70 books. Um, my goal for 2015 was 50. And I upped that by doing 65 in 2016, and I ended up reading over 70 books in 2016. So I'm hoping that by setting the goal for myself to be 70, I can read above 70 books and kind of just progressively <laughs> push myself to read more and more books every year. So yes, my goal for 2017 is to read 70 books um, of various lengths, of course, and I hopefully I can do it again. I did it last year, but definitely have a lot of changes in my life this year with not being in school. So let's hope I can do it. My series challenge for the year, um, so every year I try to pick one series that I just am going to tackle. Usually it's a bigger series. Last year I tried and failed to read all of the Harry Potter books in 2016. So. This year I chose a book series that has more books in it, but all of the books are shorter and they're middle grade, and so hopefully I will be able to finish those pretty fast. And that is basically just that I want to read all of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians books, as well as the Heroes of Olympus, and if I can get to it, the Magnus Chase and the Trials of Apollo as well. Basically all of the <laughs> Rick Riordan books um, for this year I really want to get to. Again, that is a lot of books, but they're all fairly on the short side and they're middle grade, so they read pretty quickly. So um, I'm hoping I can at least get the Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus. That is my main goal, so basically to read one of those every month. Um, but like I said, if I can push through and try to read the Magnus Chase and Trials of Apollo books, I will try and do those as well. My classic goal for the year, um, again, every year I try to pick one huge classic that I kind of just spend the entire year reading bits and pieces of here and there. Last year it was Arabian Nights, um, and I ended up listening to it pretty much from the beginning of February all the way to the end of September. Um, and so I'm kind of have the same goal for myself this year where I picked a really big classic and I'm just going to try and spend the year reading it. And my classic choice for this year is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Um, this is one of my fa my grandmother's favorite books and she's been dying to see me read it and she's been trying to convince me to read it for the past like three or four years. Um, but last year in August, her and I actually went to the Margaret Mitchell house in Atlanta, Georgia where Margaret Mitchell actually sat and wrote Gone with the Wind. Um, and so getting to learn more about Margaret Mitchell's life and getting to learn more about her creating the novel and the novel and the movie and everything made me a lot more interested to pick it up. And so my grandma bought me this really pretty 75th anniversary edition and I'm just going to go ahead and take one for the team and read this one for her this year. The next one is a booktube challenge I set for myself. Um, my goal for last year as far as booktube went is kind of just to be more consistent on booktube and so this year um, I'm pretty confident that I can do that but I also kind of have this goal um, of to do more on my YouTube channel and that is basically just that I want to make sure that I'm doing at least two video book reviews every month. Um, of course last year I really never filmed book reviews because um, I ever tried a bunch of times and they were always really really awkward and I couldn't stand editing them, which meant if I couldn't stand editing them, you guys couldn't stand watching them. Um, but I have something very unique on booktube planned for my book reviews that I'm going to do um, that hopefully will be very fun and I'm hoping that it will maybe help to ease how awkward I feel about doing book reviews. Um, and so I'm really excited to get to my first reviews of the year. Um, so that I can show you guys this new idea I have. But yeah, basically I want to make sure that I'm doing two video reviews 
every month, um, probably on either Wednesdays or Fridays. The next four or five challenges are basically bookish challenges that I want to make sure I'm meeting every month. Um, and this is where it kind of sounds like a lot, but a lot of these are going to overlap. So that's how I'm like justifying it. Um, the first is that I want to make sure I'm reading a review book every month. Um, I'm a partner on NetGalley, so I get a bunch of books for review. Um, and I really enjoy reading and reviewing books um, so that other people can kind of get a feel for what, you know, books are coming out. So I want to make sure every month I'm reading a review book, at least finishing a review book every month. Um, if I can do more than that, that's great, but I want to make sure I'm at least doing one every month. Um, and to my next point, I want to make sure I'm finishing at least one Kindle book every month. Um, I have tons of books on my shelves here, but I also have over 250 books on my Kindle that are unread that I, you know, I don't touch because I'm so focused on reading these. So I want to make sure I'm finishing at least one Kindle book every month. Now. The way that this overlaps is that most of my review books are on my Kindle, so that at least is a way for me to make sure I'm frequently reading on my Kindle while also reading review books. The next challenge I want to meet is I want to make sure I'm reading a sequel every month. Um, a lot of times I'll read the first book in a series and then I'll never pick up the second book because time has passed and then I get all these other books that I want to read first, so I want to make sure I'm reading a sequel every month. and. This of course is going to overlap because it could end up just being me reading the Percy Jackson books and using those as my sequels, but it also could be me deciding to pick up other sequels that I never did, like I never read The Heart of Betrayal by Mary A. Pearson, so one month I'd like to pick that one up and read that one as my sequel choice for the month. I want to also make sure that I'm reading a new-to-me author every month. Um, one of the books I want to read I want to make sure is a new-to-me author so that I can, you know, not just get bogged down in necessarily reading the new book by my favorite author or, you know, reading just the series that I've already started. So that way I can get to a lot of the stuff I want to read that's by a new author. Um, I can just make sure that there's a little check mark every month that I have to meet and hopefully that'll be an incentive to read more authors this year. This again can overlap because I can count my review books as that um, if they're a new to me author. Um, under the review books. The final um, challenge I want to set for myself every month is that I want to read a random pick from my bookshelves every month. And I think how I'm going to just mostly do that is just start shelf by shelf and just go, okay, close my eyes, pick a random book, read it. Um, and that way I'm kind of just picking up random books that aren't necessarily near the top of my list but actually preferably ones that are closer to the bottom so that I can go ahead and get those moved out too so that I'm not just reading the newer books on my shelf and neglecting the ones that have been here for like three years. Alright, so again, I know that sounds super ambitious when I put it all together, but I'm actually pretty excited about it and I think I can do it as long as I make sure I stay on top of it. Um, and considering I'm trying to be super consistent and I'm trying to really try hard at this booktube thing because it's something I really enjoy doing. So I'm trying to, you know, be more consistent about it and I'm hoping that that will also help me to kind of be more consistent in my goals for the year as far as reading goes. You guys should let me know down below what are some of your reading goals for this year or if there's a particular, you know, book series that you're setting yourself a goal for or a particular classic you want to read this year, kind of like I'm doing. Um, I would love to know and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!